his country and ball his a singing singing when the sun goes down he had all the answers about the way things all to be some folks came to listen some folks couldn't see that there's pain in his fingers Welcome aboard to Keeping you know, Country I'll, Strong. I'm stuck with that the rest of my life. I did it for the Quick Way Diner when I did the commercial. Now everybody knows that you got to say it wherever it goes. That's, That's true. Good. That's true. But it's good. I, be, I get paid good still. You got to end the show with that when you guys take us out later there you on. Go. You got to give us a big yee-haw. That's one of the requirements for being on Keeping Country Strong. Well, why don't you tell everybody your name and stuff so uh, they know who you are. Well, we're the Party Glass Band. And we're from Port Jervis. This is my wife, Patty. And she plays tin whistle and a harmonica and sings. And I'm Al Gessner, and I play accordion and flute and sing. And that's Kevin McComb over there with the bald head. And he's our guitar player and singer. See how I threw that in? <laughs> bald head. I like that. Well, when he had a beard, we used, to, we used to actually sing a song that we pointed to him and, you know, and brought his beard into it. Then he shaved it off. And one night I realized I turned to him for that part in the song and there's no hair. So I've been, every time we sing that song now, oh, we have to look for a beard. For Irish music. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, but he looked like Osama bin Laden. Oh, well, that was that <laughs> one of those. <laughs> Let's not go there. That's not, it's not a good look to have these days. No, no, no. You know, his last word was, honey, get the door. Somebody's there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's what they said. I don't know. <laughs> and you also uh, have run the Broom Street Band in Right? I don't know if you're doing we have. it now or not. Yes. You've run that for twenty, uh, twenty-five years. Be twenty-five years we've had the Broom Street Band. And, uh, and now that now the band is gone, it used to be just a marching band, and now it's a marching band and a wind ensemble, and we have a string orchestra. Wow. And we have a fife and drum corps. So. Right. And all the school kids get a lot of their instruments from you yes. guys, right? They do. They do, and it's it's truly. We're very thankful. And I gotta tell you, I I bought a guitar from Al. It must have been 20 years ago. A Takamini, best guitar. It was only reasonable, like 600 or something. That guitar stays in tune, perfect. It's 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 a great guitar. Takamini's mid-range guitars that are yep, now everybody's are. looking for them. But uh, yeah, I just got one in today right. from a guy who bought it for me 15 years ago, and he wore the frets out finally. And he wanted to come in and have new frets put in. Yeah, I had one because I was using a mic stand as a slide on it. And it was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants to purchase instruments, so can they get a hold oh, of yeah. you here locally? Al's Music Shop. There you go. What do you want? Fowler Street, Port Jervis, New York. That's right, right here in Port Jervis. Not nice far from the studios, also. You can yes. go in there and have, I don't know what I'll give you, but uh, yep. something. But now <laughs> you've got a nice Irish group. and uh, We do. You play all over playing <laughs> Irish music, which is great. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I, I just it's uh, down home music. It's people that it's music that people can relate to, uh, <coughs> even when you're not Irish. And do you do any of the songs like you did on that movie, The Titanic, where they were playing down in the basement and everybody was dancing? And we do, and we brought our we actually brought our dancing man with us tonight. He's uh, Patty. will pull him out a little later, and, and we'll play a jig, and he'll dance for you. Great, cool. I know it's kind of wild there because that, that is. It sucks you in, that kind of music. It's just like, you know, people say about polka music. They don't realize if you really go to a real po German poke, poker fest, the music, like, draws you right in. Plus, they're drinking beer, but, I mean, you know. <laughs> that might have something to do with it, though. Yeah. yeah. But you don't see life right until you've had. You know, those guys in the movie, I don't think they made it. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> That's more but they went down with yeah. a smile on them. Yeah, they did go down with a smile. They did. They I'm just, sure of that. I'm sure of that. They said, did you see in the news? They got the violin from the, the the guy. You know, they had the guy in a movie playing. Yeah. They got his violin because they found his body, and, and it was strapped to him, floating in the water. Wow. And it was in since it was cold water, it didn't ruin it, and they got it on in some museum. Wow. I, I oh, seen wow. it the other night. I'm like, oh wait, I, you know. What I don't understand is is the bass player at the end, at the end, and the ship is going down, and the band is playing on the deck. 
right? And you have a bass fiddle player there. Now, bass fiddles float. There's no reason he couldn't have survived if he just knocked the hole in the top and sat in his bass fiddle. <laughs> he probably just didn't want it. He couldn't bring himself to knock a hole in it, I think. But That's the guy who is it. Well, I met the one guy, his brother, he said he bought his instruments from you that back then. <laughs> Gee, thank you, Carl. You were friends with the captain. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was, I, you were friends with the guy who built it. <laughs> Did you know uh, that the time, they had a guy who just got a big award? They they found out the coal in the wood down on the sea bottom. They could never figure out why that coal was like. Well, what happened when he hit the iceberg? Now they found is the bottom of the whole middle of the boat fell right off the boat. It wasn't the gouge on the side. So he went in like a twenty mile radius and just kept coming smaller with sonar. And they found the bottom of the boat separate from the boat. Oh, wow. So the, the, the thing had 12-foot walls and all that wouldn't have made no difference. The water was coming in so hard from the bottom, and that's why when it went up, up, it split in half because there was no bottom. So that was a wide half. We I'm actually, staying away from that boat. We actually had a great, great aunt on my mother's side that was on the ship and had passed away. Uh, O'Leary is the last in name. In the ship? Emma O'Leary. She passed away in the ship? Yeah, or? yeah, on the Titanic. Oh, wow. Well, she probably great, caused great, all the trouble. Great, she was, great she aunt. Talk her like yeah. she in steerage? Yeah. With the Irish and yes. Germany? Yes, yes, yeah. Well, my, on my mother's side. She my could have been that good-looking girl Irish dancing man. on the table down there. I got the German name, but on St. Patrick's Day, it's O'Benz, so. <laughs> yeah, I say that every show, O'Benz. German on dad's side and yeah. Irish on my mom's, so. Yeah, we're yeah. all mixed, let's be clear. Yeah, same with me. We're German mm -hmm. and Irish. Yeah. But a lot of people like to, especially around now. And uh, Actually, we wanted to have uh, corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> Next, this next week, <laughs> I could do I, that. I, I love cabbage. It's like, well, I, I don't know why the restaurants just bring it out uh, and around St. Patrick's Day. That should be something that's served in restaurants year round, I would think. Yeah, it should be corned beef and cabbage, right? Well, it should be a law. Well, it's a sales point. Right? Everybody, I mean, it's it's not hard to make. No, it's and not. It's, and if it's priced right, I mean, it could be profitable. And if, and if you and cook I tell it right, that. you could. One time when Patty and I were first married. And uh, she she decided to cook corned beef for St. Patrick's Day. This one. So we had been going around Port Jervis looking for, this is back 100 years ago. We're looking, we're going to all the different restaurants and bars in town looking for Irish music. Well, at that time you couldn't even find an Irish song in the jukebox around Port Jervis. Sure. So we, we finally went back to Doc Morgan's house, and which where my wife was raised, and she cooks this corned beef. And it was the tastiest corned beef I ever had. And, but in the middle of the night, I woke up and my tongue was so swollen I couldn't talk because she didn't know you had to rinse the brine off. So it was so <laughs> salty. That was it. It was my first corned beef with my wife. It was wonderful. Yeah, we usually just put ham in it or something besides corned beef. Yeah, a lot of people do that. You know, well, in Ireland, you don't, I mean, when we've been to Ireland, you don't, you don't find corned beef, you find ham. Right. Yeah, everybody eats ham over there. Or a beef brisket. Or a beef brisket, not but not a corn. I know where you're going to get good good corned beef in March, though. Every Thursday night, because you guys are going to be at Lochran's. Oh, yeah. And Salisbury Mills. You can get, you can get so good corned beef there any Thursday night. Right on, right on Route 94, folks. So if you want to hear good music and good food, well, head down cabbage, to I can eat cabbage every day. It gives you a little gas, but it's... Uh... <laughs> we can deal with that. <laughs> Right, Steve? We do, yeah. I know. I, you, and if you use little salt when you have it on your plate and real butter, <laughs> it, it tastes great. It's out of this world. I can just eat the cabbage. Now I'm getting hungry for cabbage. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> you guys you guys have a lot of gigs coming up in March, and uh, this is one of our St. Patrick's Day shows. And you want to give out your website for everybody that's uh, sure. watching uh, us? Sure. It's www.thepartingglassband.com. And uh, you can, it, we talk a little bit about us on it. You'll see some pictures up there. It has a list of all our gigs coming up um, and how to get a hold of us. It's a very, cool, very cool website. Well, Every we, Thursday at Lochran, so that's, an e that's easy to remember in we March. We know so. in, uh, um, our show goes to Manhattan, and one of the bands that's been on here actually got booked off the show. Oh, that's crazy. Because we, right. we always want to promote, so we, we had their name there. And he's actually got gigs in Manhattan. Oh, wow. So you never, know okay. this, you never know in this yeah. business. And, uh, yeah, Patty's ready to go on the road. <coughs> she's ready. <laughs> yes, she's, she he likes did, road he, trips. He did a club show. Uh, he had over 500 people in a club down well, there. Down there, uh, yeah. Down there. You know, and, and then with well, us, with they, networking, said, they said to me, you know. Benzie, well, it's going to air at 2.30 in the morning. I'm like, 
They said that's prime time. That's prime no, time no, in I Manhattan. Says, well, no, I don't. <laughs> but it's in Manhattan. People go out at ten, don't come home till daylight. Oh wow. You know, and during the day, I guess they all sleep. That is a great life. It's almost like a musician's life. We're on the Lifestyle it's Channel in Manhattan. Everybody that's watching, welcome aboard. And you can you can live stream it if you're up that sure, time. Sure, sure. Well, it's also in rotation on, on Manhattan Channel, so when there's no show scheduled, our show gets put in the slot. So it's on like three or four times a week. We just know and the we know the one we, slot is we Wednesday to, morning at two thirty. Idaho? Idaho, yes, of all places. <laughs> they want our. You're show. a big celebrity in Idaho. You won an award. Oh, the yeah. top country band. They sent you a bag of potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, they sent you an award. They sent me a certificate. A certificate, and you wanted artist potatoes. Artist of the year in Idaho, independent artist. So I. I sent a thing to the guy, and I said, listen, can't you just send me some potatoes? They're the best potatoes on the planet. He goes, we never had that request before. I, we'd send you, like, a nice certificate. And I says, uh, okay, I'll take that. But I wanted the potatoes. I mean, right from there, because it's got to be different than the you know, commercial version. So we've been, we've been looking at uh, the stations out in uh, Idaho, and... Woodstock, too. We were, you know, there's 50 states. You could, as, If you do the work, you can get on a... Every every state. Of, so we just picked leg, Idaho first because because you got the award. Getting it to show out. It is a lot of work. But there's access stations all over the world. There's hundreds of them, thousands maybe. So uh, somebody like Benzi Smile. I don't know. But there you go. Yeah. He, he's a retired officer from Manhattan. Re yes, retired. Thank you for saying retired. retired. Not ex. Somebody say ex. It's like Manhattan. I got fired or he something. He probably gave everybody that's watching tickets down here. He's a it's, ticket yeah. This guy. <laughs> It's quite Here possible. It I, I would not deny that fact. If somebody told me, came on and said that I gave him a tag, I a ticket, I would not deny that fact. It's po quite possible. Somebody's looking for you down here. Yeah. No. Yeah. Washington Heights, welcome aboard. But listen, we, yeah. we brought you guys here to play. Inwood. Because, uh, me, personally, I love music, and Benzie don't care. But, uh, no. He, he, I love this music. He used to be a radio DJ, and then he left there, and he's been with me now for, what, two years? Almost. Yeah, almost three. Oh, oh wow. wow. Over two years. Wow. And uh, we had Pete Sigger on, which it was great with the RJ Storms and Storm. <laughs> he says he's standing. I always put an S on. I, I know. Like, I know. Jr. first is like, damn hillbilly. I. But the, <laughs> they, yeah, I heard it was a great have, night. Oh, they have an excellent bluegrass band. And, uh, the whole show was good. Pete and everybody. And that's going to be broadcast soon too. And uh, keep on plugging. Keep pushing music because that's got it. To me, music makes the world go round, no matter what kind of music. We're glad you come down, and I've known you before you was on the Titanic. I know. You had a buckboard. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> funny. I oh, know gosh. Talk about. Yeah, remember back yeah. when we used to rob banks? Anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we want you to play. Yeah. We, we sure. want you guys to play. We're going to put all your information up. So go on over and do like four songs, and, come, and if you want, come sure. on back over, and we'll talk a little bit. We'll see what the time is, and then you okay. can do some more and take the show out. Cool. Beautiful. Sounds right. good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Take it away. Yep. All right, we'll talk to you again. Yep. Thanks. All right, thanks. Uh, Can't wait. It's going to be fun. Yes. So what are you doing for St. Patrick's Day? Anything good? Uh, well, I, you know. They don't want me stutter. To, what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. You know, the uh, Orange County uh, St. Pat's Parade's in a couple of weeks. But well, we're going to try to get. These guys are going to be playing before the parade, too. Oh, on the, uh. On March 10th in Goshen, they're playing from 11 to 1 before the parade in Orange County. Oh, great. And I, there's a couple of groups I belong to that I could march with. Three, actually. But, I, you know, we got the, we got the family. Kids. They'll probably just watch it because it's so cool to be on the sidelines Man, and actually you watch talk. the parade. Hey, come on. Introduce the band. You, you're out of your mind here. All right. <laughs> if they're ready. I, I, I think we talking. are. I'll keep talking for an hour. Yeah, I know you will. All right, folks. Uh, for our St. Patrick's Day special, uh, we have the parting Glass band, take it away, guys. <laughs> The grass is growing, the water's 
snow in a free and easy way. But if we don't for the way, we'll stop there, come from Galloway Bay. Come again, it's all from down the golden side, no need to do. We'll give them a slip and we'll take a sip for the way we'll not to do. There's a deep little still at the foot of the hill where book goes up to the sky. By a whiff of the smell, you can surely tell there's poteen boys nearby. For it fills the air with a perfume bear between you and me. At home, we'll go or a bucket or a bowl or a bucket full of mountain dew. And the grass is grow and the waters flow in a free and easy way. For the way we'll stop that comes from Galway Bay From Gander's Hole, from down the Gold And slide on each one too We'll get them a sip and we'll take a sip For the way we'll melt and do Now learn it that how have used a pen Have wrote their praises high Of a rare potato from Ireland green Distilled from wheat and rye Go way up hills and a girl all ills Be a pagan, a Christian, a Jew Take off the cone and we should blow them With a bucket full of mountain dew Let the grasses grow and the waters flow In a free and easy way But give me enough for the way we'll stop that comes from Galway Bay, from Ganges Hall, from Donegal, and Saigo Leach and Two. We'll take them a sip and we'll take a sip on the railroad map to do. Start off with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's an Irish song that we'd like to do. It was made famous by the Rovers back in the 60s. It's actually a children's song. Uh, what, Patty, who wrote it? Shell Silverstein? Shell Silverstein. It's called she The just Unicorn. recently died. We're just going to band. Two by two, and they called them as they went through. Hey, Lord, 
I got you two alligators and a couple of geese. Two hunting back camels and two chimpanzees. Two cats, two rats, two elephants, two jewels you're born. I just can't find your uniform. Well, no one looked down to the drive-in red. The unicorns were hiding in plain so the game. They're kicking and a splashing as the frames came forward. Oh, them silly unicorns. Uh, there were three alligators and all the geese. Hunting back camels and chimpanzees. Cats and rats and elephants, which was your born. The loveliest of all was the unicorn. The ark started drifting and moving with the tide. The unicorn took up from the rocks and they cried. And the water came in and sort of floated them away. That's why you never see a unicorn to this very day. But you see green alligators and long Hunting back camels and chimpanzees. You see cats and rats and elephants. I would like to do a slow, quiet one. This is actually a Scottish song. And uh, it's about the love of your country and love of something that was at one time. It's called Caledonia. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the changes that have come over me in these last few days. I've been afraid that I might drift away. So now I'm telling old stories, singing songs, and make me think about where I came from. And that's the reason why I seem so far away today. Oh, let me tell you that I love you about you all the time. Caledonia, you're calling me, now I'm going home. But if I should become a stranger, you know that it would make me more than sad. Caledonia, you're everything I've ever had. I have moved and I've kept on moving through the points that I need the friends that I needed losing found others on the way I have kissed the ladies and left them crying stolen dreams, yes there's no denying I've traveled hard sometimes with conscience flying somewhere with the wind Oh let me tell you that I love you that I think about you all the time Count on you, you're calling me, now I'm if I should become a stranger, you know that it would make me more than sad. Caledonia, you're everything I've ever had. tell you that I love you, that I think about you all the time. Caledonia, you're calling me, now I'm going home. But if I should become a stranger, you know that it would make me more than sad. Caledonia, you're everything I've ever had. you that I think about 
about you all the time. California, you're calling me, now I'm going home. But if I should become a stranger, you know that it would make me more than sad. California, you're everything I've ever, I've ever had. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I take the light in the shoe soaked party and talk to pretty women in the morning, bright and early, my shirt rang in a new and dark. Whack for the daddy, yo, whack for the daddy, yo, this whiskey in the jar, my shirt rang in a new and dark. Whack for the daddy, yo, whack for the daddy, yo, this whiskey in the jar. Hey! Yeah. All right, we'd like to bring out our, our dancing man, because we did bring our dancers with us. Yes. Yes, yes. He's a little thin. Actually, he was made up in Sullivan County, probably in the 1920s or 1930s. Hand carved by, we don't remember who, but he was owned by Doc Morgan here in Port Jervis for many, many years. And when I would come over and visit my wife, when we were dating back in the early 70s, 
Doc would sit on his front porch and he'd put a record on the record player and he'd bring out the dancing men and he'd have them dance to the music. So the dancing man is, is almost normal. He broke a hip a couple years ago, had to have a hip replacement. So Kevin carved him a new hip. But uh, so we're gonna play a tune, a jig or two for you. <laughs> Lovely dancing, Patty. Lovely. Boy, I haven't seen nothing dance like that since yeah. Betsy was drunk down at the fair. I'll tell you what, I have something <laughs> in common with the dancing man. What's that? A hip replacement. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Kevin did a fine job carving a new hip. Well, that's good. Yeah. I, I actually had a. My grandfather. Had <laughs> hopefully, way, hopefully way the guy didn't carve mine. <laughs> put it in me. He <laughs> broke it in the car door. Oh no! Oh, it was just a sad like him. Thing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it was a sad These thing. Folks are falling apart here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, they, that was a big thing. They used to all do that kind of. My grandfather used to play. You ever hear that song "Break the News to Mother"? Mm. No. Come on now. It's, Sing it. I don't know. <laughs> he used to play Break the News of Mother on a violin with a rolled up newspaper. It was neat. And then he had to dance and something, I don't know what it was. And then the Felt Brothers had one of his things where it had a, a, a disc rack on it and everything. It, it, it had a bell. It was like a one man oh, band. It's a, a jumping jack stick or a jingle stick. Yeah. I don't know what it was. But the one man This one, though, used to sit down on it. Sit down on his chair, made right. It was all one piece. Mm -hmm. And they, oh, they, wow. they got a wash it. tub too. Or? Wash board, but not a wash tub. They, well, yeah. Doc used to sit out there on the front porch, and he had this little Victrola, pull the top up, and he'd put an old '78 on there. And you had to understand, he shook a little. He'd put it on there, and then he'd sit down with that dance man. Had a pipe in his hand. You know, he always wore a derby hat. And he'd be sitting there, and he just dance all night long. That was entertainment. And it was lovely. I used to, since it was wonderful that when we started playing out again, that Patty brought them out and started dancing them again. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Will you break them out uh, during the gigs? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And you we let children gigs. come up and. Oh, that's and cool. And break it. It's a, it's a big <laughs> hit. No, it's a big <laughs> hit with the kids. Big hit. Great. Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's fun. Yeah. It's something unique that you really don't see anymore. Now, we've had a few people fall off their bar stool over it. <laughs> I just made out understanding. This does wanted, not surprise me. I always wanted to get one a washboard and then have people come up in the audience and sit in a wash tub on a stool <laughs> and join the band because they have a couple type songs where you could use it. Yeah, that's just, fun. And you give them the thimbles and just let them yeah. Yeah. go to town. Yeah, one of the things that we do, like at Lochran's, uh, all actually all the time, not just Lochran's, but Lochran's is big, we, we open the mic up. If anybody would like oh, to come cool. up and sing an Irish song or play with us, like right now, recently we've had this young guy, Jacob the Fiddler, 17-year-old boy from Cornwall. Phenomenal fiddle player. 
you know, just and he comes in and he, he just sits in, <clears throat> just sits in with us for an hour or two and plays. And what a fiddle player! Gosh, yeah. you know, all he wants is a, is a coke. Yeah, that's it. So we hours. have Patty Harding, who's <laughs> going to be 81 years old. He comes up and he sings seven or eight songs with us, and and Colleen Minock, she comes up and sings two or three songs, and it's lovely to have these people. Oh, well, and they used to play spoons too, people. Yeah, oh, and well, they yeah, sit at the yeah. bar and play spoons. We had Spoon a lady at the bar. We have a, there's a Mr. Spoons. Remember that? Yeah, we used Mr. to have a guy Mr. Spoons. Yeah. Around, yeah, he's a, he's about eighty something. He lives in New Windsor. I think he's still around. We gotta get him on a show. And he plays together. together. Maybe they can only afford like a one band show or something. So they come up with all different kinds of stuff to right. play. I think he's in a retirement home now. But uh, we ha actually we had him when I when I did a radio show. It, it doesn't go good with the on radio. But uh, we gotta get him on a <laughs> TV like show. Mr. Phil, you gotta see it live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy's yeah. great. He wears the the whole Saint. Uh, he, he, well, we had him on a Fourth of July show we did. And he wears the whole patriotic outfit, danced around the studio. Nobody could see it, unfortunately, because it's radio. Oh, wow. when, we, when we had the radio show, but he'd be great for this. Uh, yeah. For, yeah. Now we had a lady by the name of Sandy sitting at the bar the other day with her daughter Erin, <laughs> and, and she was playing spoons to all the songs. And, you know, just it's not an uncommon sight. Yeah. You know, and actually, and at Lockers, one of the things they do now is that they have Locker and family singers. Now, <clears throat> and they come up and they sing uh, "Lady of Knock," and you'll get 15 people up there singing. And it's lovely. I mean, we do that every week up there. Wow. Just people just go. It's a, it's a family, you know. And we've been there two and a half years now. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. And we know everybody. Not just in March. No, no, all year oh, round. Wow, okay. All year round. And we know everybody, and we know everybody's brother and sister and grandchild. And it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. What's it's, the prime rib night? Is that Wednesdays or Thursdays? Uh, Wednesday. They alternate it with yeah, the lobster. They, they now they're doing yeah. lobster, yeah. twin lobster tails for thirteen ninety five. Yeah. It's a good deal. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I, we used to go there quite a bit. The steak too. Or just lobster tails. Well, they alternate, at, the alternate when oh. they when they do the prime rib is thirteen ninety five. Well, years ago, before I had a lap band surgery, we used to go quite a bit. But well, Lockrin's Lockrin's bariatric Lachran's, surgery, uh, I can't, can't um, eat that prime rib. It's, it's like that yeah, thick. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. It's a half a cow. It's, yeah. I've never seen. Actually, I, we we sit there and we watch it. We it's stand great. outside the, of the ki the kitchen door and they bring it out all night long as we're playing and it's like. Yeah, because we get to eat, but we so eat since when we're done. You're that's like yeah, entertainment. You're a loaded guy here. Since that, you're loaded, you're I'll take you there. The I will. Crew. I will. I will take you there. I can't eat it, but I, I will enjoy. That's entertainment oh, for me. Is watching other people eat this great prime rib dinner. You're buying. Right? You know, Lobster, I might be able to get we'll down. Take the whole but. crew, and uh, you can buy it. Yeah, there you go. Well, Perfect. this is. A, we're going to edit this part out of the show. Yeah, I know you're watching. What's he saying? Scratch, scratch, scratch. She uh, can't believe what. No, the stuff food's really, there. food's really good there. So. It is. Yeah, they and used you, to do everything. My family, uh, it always involved food, some alcohol, and uh, they would clear the table out, and everybody played something, and they would gather around the kitchen table, and that was really the entertainment before yeah. the TV and all like that. Really pushing all bonanza and all on shows, and and we would just and have a regular party around the table. Wow. And, uh, I do a thing here every once in a while called Round Robin, where I get anybody who wants to come and they play an instrument and come and sing whatever they want. Just acoustic, no electrics allowed. Mm -hmm. And we get in a circle. Everybody takes their turn singing a couple songs. And I believe it or not, people like that because it's raw oh, and it's uh, real. Yeah. They do. I tell you, we, we were surprised a couple weeks ago. A young girl came up to sing a song. And, uh, and uh, she said, mind if I do, if I do a non-Irish song? I said, well, all right. And so she sang Ave Maria. Not a dry eye in the place. Yeah. It was so gorgeous. And Kev, one of the Kevin's, Kevin's big things is that he can follow anybody. He just throws a capo on and he's there. Whatever key they pick, unlike my accordion that does not play in key of F sharp or <laughs> you know, in 15 flats, it doesn't do that. But Kevin is really good at following that. And he just picked right up on these people and just, whoa. Well, it's hard to find people who can actually add and live with everybody, like, like my band, everybody in the band and ad lib and if you get good musicians like when you say it's in that my fiddle player don't even know our song I'll just say A and she just comes right in with us she knows all our keys so whatever we play she can play it beautiful and, and I, I found when you get talented people like that it makes uh, a that's big Kevin. difference that's Kevin that's the nice thing about Kevin although when he when, he, when somebody starts like sometimes like <clears throat> depending on how many cups they've had they'll start a song in the key of <laughs> of C sharp seven sharps yeah you know, i look at my accordion and it cries at me and i set it down kevin just picks it up and starts playing you know it just it's it's great you know and it's it's a lot of fun well hank you know hank williams really he was a three 
four chord maybe guy, but Fred Rose and him, like I was telling him, uh, they colored their chord, put the color chords and everything in his songs when they recorded them. He didn't play all that stuff, uh, <laughs> and uh, that that gives it the soul of the song. And uh, if you ever want to learn to sing with somebody, you take a piano. I learned this in Manhattan. They take the piano and you stand there and they'll go on all the keys, and make, and then you say now sing it because it messes up your hearing, and then sing like cheating heart, and then he'll find your true key because uh, you you know I always did it in C, so he's going. You actually can do it. You're doing it in A with the key you should be doing it in and then you one up or one down but what happens is when you sing it in the proper key your breaths come natural for the wording right mm -hmm. i was like holy god i missed that boat when i was little yeah. it does work <laughs> well you know and, uh, <coughs> well we're putting a cd out oh great yeah, we just nice. finished recording uh, about a week or two ago and it's being mastered now and hopefully it'll be done and we want to get it up on I itunes and you know, well, you gotta send me uh, if you MP3 me three songs. I have my own radio show on Tuesday nights. Okay. And you can call in, and uh, it's only a little half hour show. I've had it like four or five years on the internet worldwide, and uh, we'll play some of your songs on there, at least three. That'd be great. Thank you. Blog yeah. Talk Radio. Blog Talk Radio. Good stuff. It's a good show. Yeah. Tuesday nights, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we just have a lot of fun with it. Benson sometimes when he's Some awake, he'll call in. <laughs> We're not trying to get the kids to sleep at 11 o'clock. <laughs> the kids I are still music. awake. That's what stuff. my shows are really about, is promoting all kinds of music. And uh, I've had even headbanging bands on here. I didn't know what they said, but uh, they did. And, and now <laughs> we're in that generation where, uh, just like we all were, where you're going, man. And, and our parents <laughs> probably did the same thing. Like, I had the Beatles and stuff, and they're like, ah, them guys. It's like in, in you know in Elvis and Frank Sinatra and the next generations always look at it like that guy will never be nothing. I mean Elvis was it. Yeah. And the Beatles too. They wrote so many hits. Forget it. That's right. And you know what's really cool is the show that you play on uh, St. Patrick's Day down at Helen Hayes. Oh yeah. You've been doing that for it, a few this years. This will be our th third year. Great. It's lovely. Yeah. And uh, matter of fact, we we play down there a couple times a year, but it's it's a, it's a lovely show we do in the mid afternoon and. And we do it right in the, the atrium, and they bring all these people come down, and, and a lot of them are in wheelchairs, a lot of them are car accident people, and, and uh, they've lost a leg or lost an arm, and and sometimes it's it having been there myself, it, it's it's easy to 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 go back into yourself and not want to come out, and but to see us out there singing and playing, it, it's just it brings it out. We had a guy who was it the guy the other night said something to us about it. He was there. He was a patient. And he saw us last uh, St. Patrick's Day, and he was recovering from a pretty serious event. And he said it really warmed him. And what amazes That's me great. when you do, uh, and I've done a lot of them senior citizen homes, and uh, I do like the old classic country. And what gets me is they'll sit there like they're lost, and then all of a sudden when you start playing, like they wake up. And I've had people go, you didn't sing the right words to that. And, and they know, <laughs> they know the words, and I'm lost. And, and the best way to find out you really don't know the words is get some karaoke of, like, cheating heart. You go, there's another verse. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, That's funny, because uh, uh, Helen Hayes was an integral, in, integral part of me getting in the whole radio TV business. Because back in 2006, a buddy of mine that I worked with was there in rehab, and in the next room over was uh, Marine Sergeant Eddie Ryan, who was who had gotten injured in Iraq. Yep. And I just went over, started talking to the family, and they were looking to do some fundraising to make their home handicap accessible. Instead of they wanted to put them away in a nursing well, home. We got a message Remember from that? Eddie Ryan and them thanking yeah. us for what we. Did so what we I, did. I started going around to the radio stations, trying to we were running some fundraisers, some barbecues, American Legion, and places like that. The AOH were involved, and the Knights of Columbus. And I, I went on this radio show, and uh, they kept asking me to come back and come back, and that's how I got into the whole uh, hosting a radio yeah, we, show. They, <laughs> Eddie Ryan, they just said keep coming back. Next thing you know, I was a co-host. I couldn't like believe it. Because after band. all the fundraisers were over, yeah, you know, and they, they're like, well, and I go, well, now what? And they're like, well, we'll make you a co-host. They, they did a big thing so in one of these hunting that's reserves, how it started. And, they, and they had their whole that's, thing. That's set how up. I met Carl. And their own program set up, and uh, he told them. Uh, He's playing at my at this benefit that we're not having. And I was like, he didn't have to say that. 
Because, you know, when people have everything organized. So they gave us a tent. <laughs> Looked like we were out on space ship somewhere. And uh, he came to stay with us right the whole That's time. Right, yeah. And uh, he liked my music. You know, I can't ask him that. Yeah, what are you selling? Yeah, ten minutes. I'm not selling anything. I thought he was praying or something <laughs> over there. <Whoops. laughs> well, for those that are interested. Then he stopped talking for a minute. They're living uh, in Lake George now. They moved up to Lake Sorry. George. The family's, oh, good. the family's doing good. I talked to him on the, on the phone about once a month uh, with the Chris, the father, and, and puts Eddie on. So the, the, he's doing better. And, uh, you know, that was so that was, that was, we did about you five know, years worth of fun. You raised a couple hundred thousand. Like that in, in Castle Point, they appreciate your music and what you're doing. They yeah. really do. And that's, yeah. for me, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. We want to get you to play. Just say the name of your band one more time before we you get up and finish the night. Go ahead, say it, say it, Kevin. Yeah, we, are, it. Forgot already. <laughs> we are the parting glass. Parting glass. The parting glass, not the parting It'll glass. Party, the, party and go to their website, parting, which yeah. is on the screen, thepartingglassband.com. And actually, we're gonna we're gonna sing uh, the last song we sing tonight. Will be the parting glass. Oh, cool. The song. And, so uh, we got like eight or ten minutes for you guys to finish hey. up. So, so we'll, you tell, just let me know when it's time for one more. So we'll I, toss, so I time we'll it right. Benzie out there. <laughs> yes, that's why we know. <laughs> and, you know, and, uh, we'll come out and join you and just go yeehaw good night and all that good stuff. Okay. But, uh, thank you for coming oh, over. Thank you. It's been lovely. I know. It's hard to get everybody at the same time. Nope. Take care. All right, guys. All right, we will. We will do this. We're going to mention a couple of places where these guys are playing in March. Uh, March second, Shea O'Brien's in New Paltz. March third, the Captain's Table in Monroe. Hey, you forgot our hats. On March 9th and the 17th, Baker's Tap Room. And that's in Barryville, folks. Come on, we're getting ready for St. Patty's Day. Here we go. The 24th, the Newburgh Free Library. The 16th, the Sloat's Well, we ain't got Library. no time. Get Put your hat on, on there. There we go. You look like the Wizard of Oz guy. You got any hay? Huh? <laughs> Who's got the glass slippers? Oh, brother. All right. What a, and St. Patrick's Day Parade in Goshen. On the 10th, from 11 to 1, these guys are going to be playing. And Blarney Station in Warwick as well on the 15th. So All right, go I, ahead. Inter oh, introduce your them. place, your favorite place in Riverview in yes. Big Skill on the 16th as well. All right, folks, they're going to take us out. The Al, Patty, and Kevin, they're the Parting Glass Band. Take it away, guys. I've known many a man from Galway to Quebec, but one stands up more noble than the rest. Tall and thin and strong with a derby on his head And he tells stories at the bridge of death And sing a song together, laugh about the weather Praise the last life, life to love and song Hold the other's hand and smile once again For tonight we're gonna toast a great old man His name was J.P. Morgan, from West Town he did come Just one of 17 children had it hard a store, and much more, and a raised laugh better than anyone. Let's sing a song together, laugh about the weather, praise the last two life to love and song. Hold each other's hand and smile once again, for tonight we're going to close the great home. We spent many long hours with pipes upon the porch, while listening to all tunes throughout the night. And he pulled out an answer, man, I'll be young again. Ah, uh, kick it up, he seals my delight. Let's sing the song together, laugh about the weather. Praise God's to life to love and song. Hold your other's hand and smile once again. But tonight we're going to toast to the old man. He always had a smile or a joke that was not style. He had no friends a man should ever have. But he taught me all about life and he gave to me a wife. Let's raise our glass to donkey once again. Let's sing a song together, laugh about the weather, raise a glass to life to love and song. Hold each other's hand and smile once again, for tonight we're going to toast a great old man. For tonight we're going to toast a great old man. How about that? Gonna do a nice uh, love song. A love song. So cuddle up next to someone. Oh, 
the summertime is coming And the trees are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain time goes around the blue Would you go? 